hello welcome to my channel in this video today i'm going to show you how to make this marigold flower in a ball pen and i'm using the brand of bic ball pen and then you can just puff inside to this and it won't fall it won't fall off on the top of the ball pen so let's go ahead and make for this flower you will need or i'm using a 100 percent acrylic yarn and 3.0 millimeter crochet hook a ball pin a darning needle and a scissor start by doing a slip knot And chain of 40 and once you have a 40 chain double crochet in the third chain from the hook at the back of the chain And for the beginners, you can mark your first stitch and double crochet in the following 38 stitches. Once you have made a 38 double crochet stitches, chain of 2 and then double crochet in the first stitch. And repeat a double crochet until to the stitch marker on or, or in the last stitch and repeat one more row of double crochet 38 stitches and you should have a three rows of this one once done leave a long tail and cut the yarn now this time insert your hook in the first stitch then take your yarn the color of your flower make a chain and make sure you will hold this tail right here we're going to hide the tail and this green yarn the long tail just ignore that one yarn over insert your hook on that same stitch under yarn over pull through a two loops you should have two loops on your hook yarn over insert again on the same stitch take the yarn yarn over pull through two loop and you should have three loops on your hook yarn over insert again on that same stitch pull through two and you should have four and then the last one yarn over pull through again a two loop and you should have a three or five loops on your hook I mean and pull through all five loop chain of two then slip stitch under on that same stitch where we did those stitches slip stitch then chain of three one two three and then yarn over insert in the next chain in the next stitch and repeat the same thing yarn over pull through two loop you have shot three yarn over pull through two four yarn over pull through two and five once you have five pull through all five loops chain of two insert in that same stitch make a slip stitch and repeat chain of three and yarn over in the next chain pull through two yarn over pull through two loop four and you should have five and pull through five loops 
chain of do then slip stitch on that same stitch and repeat this until to the last chain of the green yarn and we will meet right when you're finished at the last stitch slip stitch remove the stitch marker chain of three yarn over pull through two five loops chain of two then slip stitch make a chain and cut the yarn and hide this tail here cut this one also this one here and then facing at this side this is the long tail and here we will make a we will roll this one like this rolling make sure the first one is in the center is at the center this one Okay. okay once you arrange it like this take your darning needle then insert your darning needle on this here then pull up on the center just in the middle okay and pinch with your little finger then insert your darning needle back going inside to the outside here okay then repeat here going on inside then inside going out okay Make sure you don't close the circle here inside here going out Okay, once done around make a knot right here and then insert your tail then cut the yarn now for the stem of this ball pin make a magic ring chain in six single crochet spiral for 20 rounds
Okay, once done with the 20 round, slip stitch in the next stitch and cut the yarn. And you can test your ball pen. If you have a fatter or bigger size of pen, you can make a 8 single crochet around. The same thing, you will do a 20 rounds of 8 single crochet. And then hide detail right here. And after that, you're done. And for this leaf, you can find the video in my description below. You can check for the tutorial. And if you like this video, you can um, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to make a chapters of the plants with a ball pin. And I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.